Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsiderTips.com. In this quick video, I just want to let you guys know about a cool Chrome extension that I just discovered called ChatHub. Now, if you're unfamiliar with ChatHub, this is essentially an all-in-one chatbot where you can use various large language models or LLMs simultaneously, such as ChatGBT, Bing, Bard, Claude, and other LLMs that this AI Chrome extension supports. I will leave a link to their official website in the video description below, as this just has a lot more details and frequently asked questions about the ChatHub browser extension. Now to get this, I'll leave a link to this in the description below too. This is the Chrome Web Store. So to get ChatHub, simply visit this page here, click Add to Chrome, click Add Extension, and then you should see a message up here that says ChatHub All-in-One Chatbot Client has been added to Chrome. If for some reason you are not redirected to ChatHub, simply click your extensions button up here, click ChatHub, and here we are on the ChatHub browser extension. So right away guys, you'll notice on the left here, all the different LLMs or large language models that ChatHub currently supports. And I would assume that over time that this browser extension will eventually support even more. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with ChatGBT, Bing, Google Bard, Claude is a great one that recently came out by Anthropic. Llama 2 is actually Meta AI's new LLM, so the company that owns Facebook and Instagram. Um, this is still in development in beta mode, so we'll see what this can produce. And I'm actually not familiar with these other ones, Vacunia, Pi, and Wizard LM. I'm not familiar with these. Um, but guys, the point is, you can compare side by side. So let's say I want to compare ChatGBT versus Google Bard, which are the two most popular. And I'm going to ask it a simple prompt. I'm going to say, please explain the difference between ChatGBT and Google Bard. And by asking it a prompt here, you can see now side by side the differences in outputs or responses that you will get. So in this example here, this prompt is a great example of why you should be using Google Bard for any type of you know prompt that shows recency. So I say, please explain the difference between ChatGBT and Google Bard. You'll see Bard produced a more thorough output here and explained both of them. While ChatGBT, on the other hand, simply said, as of my last knowledge update, September 21, Google Bard is not a widely recognized or established product in the field of AI or language processing, which is obviously false. Um, so in this example here, I would give the nod to Bard. But let's say I want to do something else here. Um, and I want to say, please provide me five SEO titles for the following keyword. Best AI chatbots. And then here you'll see side by side that it's going to provide me uh, five SEO titles here. So ChatGBT provided me top 10 AI chatbots. I actually like these ones better than what Bard provided me. Um, they are you know, somewhat similar. I would give the nod in terms of creativity to ChatGBT over Google Bard, um, but that's neither here nor there. The purpose of this video, guys, is I just wanna show you that you can compare right here side by side instead of copying and pasting, pulling up Bard and ChatGBT in different tabs and then going back and forth. This just makes it extremely easy. All right, guys, so let's try one more. Let's actually try ChatGBT versus Bing. Now, you know, ideally this should be a similar output since Bing is powered by ChatGBT. Um, but this is, I'm very curious to see what it's gonna say here. So I'll say, please provide me with five SEO titles for the following and make sure everything is spelled correctly when you're prompting for obvious reasons for the following keyword, best AI chatbots. And here it'll say it's requesting permission. Go ahead and click allow if you get that. And now, so you'll see ChatGBT gave me one here and then Bing is gonna take a little bit as it is searching Bing and processing stuff in the background. And the nice part about using Bing here is that it's actually pulling from the first page of the search results on the Bing search engine. So this is really cool to see as you'll see PC Mag, HubSpot, Write, Sonic, and some other notable names here. It's actually pulling the SEO titles from these. So just a great way here again to compare side by side the different language models. You'll see they do have a premium version, which is $35 for the lifetime license. You can obviously get this if you want. I am not going to purchase this. 
as typically with AI tools, they come and go, and there's probably going to be a better one. Um, you can click display. And so if you want to change this to a light interface, for example, and change your display size, you can obviously do that. Uh, language, I'm going to leave it English. So then if we come down here, you'll notice some settings. There's some other things. This is a cool feature here within this uh, Chrome extension. You'll see it has the chat bots here. So I can then chat, you know, check some of these other ones that I've never even heard of. Chat GLM2, iFly Tech Spark. I don't even know how to pronounce these to be honest. But the point guys here is that I would assume there would be more chat bots to come that chat hub supports in the near future. Um, there's some other settings here with Claude and chat GBT. You'll see I can change language models um, and just various other things here that you can use. Um, but that's it guys. That is just a quick video on this cool Chrome extension that I discovered called Chat Hub. Again, this is an all-in-one uh, browser extension where you can combine all of these different LLMs or large language models into one interface. And guys, one more thing I wanna show you before I finish this video is that with the premium feature, you can actually change interfaces here and you can do three at once, four at once, um, but with the free version, you just get the side-by-side -side two of them here. Um, but again, guys, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. I hope this quick video helped you guys out. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment below. And guys, I hope you all have a great day. And I look forward to creating more tutorials like this in the near future.